Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share a little peek inside my routine when it comes to naturally supporting um, our immune systems, both for me and for my family. If you guys are new around here, my name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian. I am obviously very passionate about health and wellness. I am very passionate about nutrition and having a nourishment mindset. And many years ago now, this kind of led me down a path to start also questioning um, you know, ingredients in the products that I was using because I was so cognizant of what I was eating as far as ingredient wise. But then I just started to wonder, all of these products I'm putting on my body and you know on my skin and using in my house, um, I started to realize that they can actually really affect and impact your health as well, which kind of led me down this rabbit hole of learning all about the products I was using. And I just decided to take a more natural, um, holistic approach to a lot of things. Now, I am certainly not... Um, like 100% only holistic and natural, but I am mostly for the most part, there's always room for balance, but I have noticed such a huge difference in, um, how I feel um, and you know how well I am and my whole family is with just switching to um, a more natural approach when it comes to most things. And there's actually a lot that you can do naturally to support your immune system. So I'm gonna share with you in today's video the different things that I like to do um, on a regular basis and then a few things that um, I add in if we are feeling under the weather. Um, it's kind of a, lo a lot of stuff. It's taken me years to kind of arrive at this point where um, I have all of these tools handy. Um, so I'll walk you through what I use and hopefully you can you know, maybe take a couple tidbits from this video, something you can implement for yourself. Um, you certainly don't have to do all of this stuff, but this is kind of what I, this is what I do. This is our routine. And let me just say, I used to think that immune support and like being proactive about your immune system was like not a thing. I was like, what? <laughs> Those people sound crazy, but honestly, you know, there isn't a ton of like research that backs this stuff. There isn't a ton of like evidence-based articles that you can find for this kind of stuff because there's just not a lot of studies done on natural stuff in general because they tend to not make as much money as the more you know conventional pharmaceutical stuff. If you're the kind of person that needs a lot of that kind of proof in order to try something or to believe that there's any merit to it, um, you're just not going to find a ton of that for natural stuff. It's just the way that it is. Um, so in my personal experience and anecdotal experience, I have seen a huge difference um, and I totally believe in it and it's why I continue to buy this stuff and to use it. Um, so just wanted to kind of throw that that disclaimer out there because I know there's a lot of people who think that way and I certainly used to be one of them. But anyway, so let's get into what I use. I literally went around my house with a basket and I collected <laughs> all of the stuff that um, we use for supporting our immune systems naturally. So um, there are a lot of things we do on a regular basis, just kind of part of our routine, as consistent as we can be. Um, we're definitely not perfect. Um, and then there's a few other things that we add in if we actually are under the weather. So I'm gonna start with the things that we use um, habitually, let's say. So the first one is an oil blend called Thieves. Um, I discovered this five plus years ago when I first got into um, specifically Young Living Oils. And this is such a game changer. It is formulated to support your immune system. Um, and you can actually Google, there's like a really interesting story behind why this is called Thieves. And it's just kind of eye-opening just to how powerful um, the specific herbs that are in here. It is clove, um, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Those are the essential oils that are in here that make up the Thieves blend. There's a lot of companies that have gone on, gone on to like use the same blend. I mean, it's, it's, very, it's a very effective blend of oils. It's very popular, um, but this is the original one. And again, it's called Thieves. So um, I use this in the diffuser all the time, especially in the colder months. Um, it works out because it's like a warm, spicy scent. So it's like perfect for like cozy fall and winter like home vibes, but it's actually very effective as well. So I usually just pair it with lemon or um, another citrus oil or whatever, and we diffuse this constantly in our house. 
Um, so we are just kind of always breathing in this oil and getting it into our body that way in a very like subtle way. Um, but I also really like to use Thieves. You can use it topically as well, which means you can put it on your skin. And the um, way that I usually do that, there's like a little bit on the bottle now, it's getting all over me, I'll just put some on. <laughs> um, but I make, I make rollers with it. So um, this is my immune support roller. I use a recipe, um, there's a book, I should have grabbed it. I'll link it down below. It's the best book, truly, for like all things DIY recipes using oils. Like you can replace so many, the, so many of the things that you buy, um, and then just use like oils in so many different ways um, in all areas of life. It's just an excellent, excellent book, and I use their recipe for um, making an immune support roller. So Thieves is in it. it also has like lemon and frankincense, um, I think oregano, and then um, so this is my roller. So this is what I use on me, and I apply it to the bottoms of my feet and down my spine. Um, I try and do it once a day. And um, sometimes I forget, because again, I'm not perfect, but um, I use this consistently as I possibly can. And I usually just leave it on my nightstand, so I just do it right when I get into bed. Um, keeps it super easy that way. I also make them for my kids too. I make theirs a little bit more diluted, it's not quite as strong. Um, and same thing, I leave those, or keep those in their bedrooms, and usually when we're getting ready for bed at night, just goes on the bottoms of the feet or down the spine, one or the other, sometimes both. Um, so we're just kind of getting um, little like micro doses of this oil into our body and it's very, very effective. So that is the one like key essential oil blend that we use, um, but everything else pretty much is supplements as far as what we do on a daily basis. So one of the supplements that we use in the colder months, I don't do this all year round, but you know, when there's just a lot more germs going around and things are getting passed, um, this is one that we like to use on a pretty much daily basis, and that is elderberry. Um, so we will just, it comes, um, I like the Mary Ruth one. You can also make this yourself at home super easily. I probably should just do that, um, but I've just been buying it and it just comes in a dropper. It tastes, I mean, it's elderberry, so it tastes very sweet. Um, and we will, like, I'll add this to the girls' Ningxia, which I'll get to that in a second. Um, I give this to my girls, and then I also um, will take it sometimes, and my husband sometimes too. Um, so this is just another one that we add that can really just help you know, again, support your immune system, just less chance that you're gonna catch any of the colds or things that are, that are going around. Um, and this is like a very, um, like, popular natural remedy when it comes to like cold and flu and things like that. So that is a staple for us, and I will link this down below. Okay, another daily supplement um, is a probiotic. So for myself and my husband, we take, this is called Life9, um, it's a capsule form and it has a bunch of different strains in it, I think it's nine different strains. This is the probiotic that we take, but then for my kids, I found just the easiest one um, to give to them regularly is this liquid one. This is also a Mary Ruth's Organic. This is their liquid probiotic and it has a bunch of different strains in here. I didn't actually count, but again, you want a variety of strains because the whole point of a probiotic is to um, really fortify your bacteria, like your gut or your microbiome. Um, you want a lot of different strains, you want variety, you want, um, you know, quantity, you just want it to be very diverse and you want to be introducing new strains and you want to be like adding to the original strains and just really you want it to be this really diverse colony. So by taking your probiotic, um, that is going to help really, um, that, that's what you're trying to achieve by taking a probiotic. You can also consume lots of fermented foods, um, which we do, um, a lot of sourdough and sauerkraut and yogurt and things like that. Um, but I just personally like to take a probiotic it can't hurt, it can only help. Um, so this one, super easy to give to kids. Again, I put it in the girl's Ningxia. I'll get to that in a second. Um, and then for my littlest, I do give him probiotic as well. I give him very few things. Um, he gets the immune roller on his feet before bed. Um, and then probiotic, I literally just take like a couple drops of this and just squirt it like in his mouth. It has no taste. Um, that and then, um, I also give him vitamin D drops, which that's my next thing, vitamin D. So. Um, this is the vitamin D supplement that I take. It's called Super Vitamin D. Um, so this is for me and for Matt. They're little chewables. Um, they taste good. They Each one has, um, I think, 1,000 IU, and I usually take two a day um, because I tend to be low in vitamin D, and vitamin D, if you, vitamin D is critical for so many functions in the body. I mean, your um, your bones, your hormones, your mood, your, I mean, it's it's, 
critical for so many things. It's also immunoregulatory. So having adequate levels of vitamin D is going to help, you know, have support a healthy immune system. So I take vitamin D, the, um, supplement, like the, um, multivitamin I give to my girls, um, has vitamin D in it. So, um, I also give them cod liver oil as well as a supplement, um, which has vitamin D in it. So I feel like they're pretty, um, they, they get a good amount of extra vitamin D right now. And then um, I didn't grab it, but um, for my son, Bo, who's seven months old, I give him little vitamin D baby um, drops. They're like in olive oil. Um, and I can link that down below. So um, vitamin D for the whole fam. We make sure we're getting that on a regular basis supplemented. Okay, so next is Ningxia Red. So this is another supplement. And this is something that we all, by all, I mean everyone but Bo, um, drinks daily. So it is basically like a goji berry puree and it is super antioxidant rich. It's technically a wolfberry um, puree, which is a type of goji berry. And it comes from um, this specific region in China that is considered a blue zone, um, which if you don't know what a blue zone is, it's basically where the um, like ex people are living well beyond the like expected um, age range, like living well into their hundreds, like active, super healthy people in their, in their hundreds, which is crazy. And um, the three things that this area has been studied and the three um, things that they've kind of teased out to contribute to the fact that it's a blue zone is um, the a mineral rich diet, physical activity um, throughout the lifetime. And then also they consume um, a staple in their diet are these wolf berries and that come from the specific region and they're super high in antioxidants. So um, this is basically like a bottled puree version of that particular berry found in China um, that is in this blue zone. Anyway, so that's like the backstory. So we drink this daily and it's, it's super, I mean, it also is rich in certain vitamins and minerals, but it's very, very, very high in antioxidants. And I've done a whole video here on my channel. It's an older video, but the information is so solid um, still. And it's all about antioxidants and what exactly they do in the body. So I'd recommend going to watch that if you want a more detailed um, look at what antioxidants are doing. I think everybody should fully understand that. They seek to neutralize all the free radicals that are going around your body. And if you've got all these free radicals causing cellular damage, this is going to in increase your oxidative stress levels. And you know, when your body is under physiological stress, um, you know, a lot of its normal functions become impaired and immune system is one of them. So that's something that's running all the time. But if you are, if your body is stressed with, um, you know, too much of this free radical damage, it's going to affect how your immune system works. It's going to, it could effectively weaken it. So this is just another way to um, really support your body as a whole, um, kind of a holistic view and your immune system is just part of that. So this is something that we drink all the time. Um, it helps our immune system, but also literally our entire body because your whole body can experience oxidative stress and therefore every system can be impacted by it. Um, so we drink, I drink about two ounces a day for, and so does Matt. Um, for the girls, we just have like little like shot glasses and I fill up one of those close to the top. And then to that, I add um, their probiotic. Um, I'll add the elderberry. Sometimes I add extra iron, not for immune system, just for other things. Um, and they'll just drink that and it tastes, it tastes sweet. It tastes so good. Every time I'm like, girls, you want your Ningxia? They're like, yeah. Yeah, they like love it. It's, it's actually really tasty. It tastes like juice and you just give a small amount of it. So that is something again that we drink on a very regular basis. Um, and then the other few things that I have are a few things that we add um, if we are feeling under the weather. So these are all things that we're kind of just doing on a regular basis. We've got a couple core su supplements that are in our routine. Um, you know, we're diffusing thieves and applying the immune roller um, as often as we can. Um, um, like daily. So those are just things that are just part of our routine and they do keep us well. Like it is, it is truly, um, a rare occurrence for us to be sick. Like it really, it really is. And I feel like that's just not always the case. Um, and it's a huge blessing. Like nobody wants to be under the weather all the time. It just interrupts life. It's just difficult to deal with. Sick kids are, it's so sad. Like nobody wants to see their kids not feeling well. Um, and for us, this really has made a huge difference. Um, but that being said, it happens, right? You know, it, we all come down with something here and there, and it's just another way to actually strengthen your immune system because you're basically giving it information and it's going to create antibodies, um, and become even stronger. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's, it's certainly, um, a hindrance if it's happening all the time. And if I can avoid it as much as I can, I would love to do that, which is why I'm pretty serious about this. But 
it, it definitely happens. So when it does happen, we continue all these things. You know, we continue supplementing the vitamin D and drinking the ningxia and, and the elderberry and, and doing the thieves. And it really helps us get over things more quickly. Um, but there's a couple other things that we will add in to help us get over things more quickly or just be a little bit more comfortable um, and help us feel better while we are under the weather. So. Long explanation, that being said, one of the things that we add in is vitamin C. So vitamin C there actually is um, like a decent amount of research on and basically for a vitamin C to help curb like a cold or flu or anything like that, it really needs to be research shows, the research that I have seen shows that it really needs to be taken like at the onset, like early on um, when you are coming down with something. So as soon as I feel like a little drip in my throat or my neck feels a little achy, you know, like you, you can just tell when something is coming on before you are like full blown, like have a cold, um, I will just drink a little bit of vitamin C extra. Um, so this is the one that I really like. You can get this um, on Amazon. It's called Sufficiency and it's high dose. So um, I usually just take, it says two full scoops. I don't always take two full scoops. Um, I usually do like one and then maybe like I'll have another one later if I if I remember um, just depending on kind of how I feel um, but you can also just take this to like bowel tolerance that's a, often a recommendation that I hear um, so we'll take this at like kind of the onset of something to help curb it and this actually tastes really good it is a lemon peach it's very sweet um, so I'll just mix it in water and drink it but if my girls are coming down with something if I all of a sudden like the first sign of like a runny nose um, I will put a little bit of this in that Ningxia shot that they make so I obviously don't give them nearly the, the full amount but I'll just give them like a little bit of like one scoop and I'll add that to their Ningxia just for like a little bit of a vitamin C extra vitamin C boost. Okay, another supplement um, that we will take if we are starting to feel like something is coming on, and by we, I mean uh, Matt and myself. I don't give this to my kids um, just because they're very little, and this is strong stuff, um, but this is called Inner Defense, and this stuff is a godsend. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have felt something coming on, and I immediately take this, I just take one, um, and by the next day, um, or maybe two days of taking one, I am just like, whoop, right back to my normal self, and it's almost like I just got to like skip, <laughs> skip over that, which is very, very handy. And the times that, you know, whatever it is does really take hold, and then I do not feel so great, um, I'll just continue to take like one a day, and it really helps me get over it very quickly. So it's very, very handy. Um, it is a capsule, and it has, it's basically just essential oils in here, um, and it's just, it's very effective. So Matt and I love this. I try to never run out. Um, we both know if something's coming on, we just go to the cabinet and we take an inner defense. And he usually takes one or maybe two, and I usually just take one, and that's usually enough for me. So that is the supplement side of things. And then there's a couple other things that we'll use if we're not feeling well. So one is, um, this is another essential oil blend. It's called RC. It stands for respiratory comfort. So basically we reach for this anytime we've got anything like sniffly um, going on where it's just like, yeah, it's hard to breathe. You know, it's the worst. It's like, you forget how nice it is just to be able to breathe without thinking about it when you can't breathe, especially when you like lay down at night and you like feel like you really can't breathe. So this is very helpful for that. So I usually just diffuse it. I'll put um, a few drops in our diffuser, especially when we're trying to sleep at night, just to help open up the airways and it just makes it a lot easier to breathe. You can also just like mix it with a little bit of like coconut oil or olive oil or whatever and put some on your chest um, if you wanna do that. But usually what we do is instead we'll use, this is, um, it has that thieves oil and it. it's called the thieves chest rub and it's basically like the natural completely natural um, dupe for the that like blue vapor rub that you get in the store um, so it's got um, it actually has menthol in it, it has camphor in it so it's that really like like minty like whoo, opens up the airways, so it feels really good to breathe in um, it just like glides right on your chest but it also has that thieves oil in it um, so again it's just getting that into your body, helping to support your immune system. Um, it's very, very, very soothing. I love this stuff. So we always have this on hand. Um, I use it on me, I'll put it on my girls, 
um, if they are, you know, sniffly before night, um, so that they can just breathe a little better, or during the day, you know, if they're if they're really stuffy. Um, so those are the two things that we kind of add in, um, diffusing and applying, just to help us breathe a little bit easier when we are feeling under the weather. Okay, you guys. So that's everything that I use. I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, these things have been really, really helpful for us and have made a huge difference. I have noticed kind of like a night and day um, when I used to just you know, do nothing other than like wash my hands because that's all I really knew. <laughs> what I, that's the only thing I knew that was preventative at the time. Um, but since you know, kind of adding in these like different layers of um, daily habits that can support our immune system, I really have noticed a big difference. So I will link all of this stuff down below. Um, I hope that you find it helpful. It's not like a cure-all by any means. I mean, there are certainly times that we are all under the weather over here, but it's just very infrequent um, when it used to be more of like a regular thing. So I take that as a huge blessing. To me, that means it's working and I will continue to use this stuff. Um, and anyway, so I'll link it all down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe. I share tons of nutrition and health and wellness and a little bit of like non-toxic natural living here on my channel. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Becca Bristow um, and also at Clove and Iron Essentials if you wanna see more about how I use like oils and Ningxia and things like that. Um, but that is all I have for this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.